Hey guys, Coop here. Going to do a short little tutorial today on the trilobite slash ladder rack knot slash fishtail knot. I've uh, I've seen four or five different names out there for what they're calling this. So uh, uh, I learned how to do it from uh, JD over at Tying It All Together. He calls it the uh, trilobite. There's a few other paracord channels out there. They call it the uh, ladder rack. Uh, so, and I've had a few people asking me that they've called it the fishtail. Anyway, I, I've had quite a few people asking about this, so I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial on it. And it's a really nice bracelet. I, I really like it. I mean, they made it look, in the videos that I've seen, makes it look a lot bigger than what it actually is. And it's actually about the size of a, a king cobra so it's not as wide as what you actually think it is and matter of fact well here's a uh, here's a ruler to kind of give you some comparison on it it's not really that wide anyway guys I hope you enjoy the tutorial I'm gonna get into what the uh, amount of paracord this right here is a nine and a half inch bracelet and it took me about 10 feet of cord to make it so my suggestion is always go with a little bit more than what you need because you never know so to make a nine and a half inch bracelet in this knot I suggest using 12 feet of course I use two colors so that'll be six color, six feet of one color six feet of another color and a few of the items you'll need to make this bracelet paracord fids I know you guys are probably getting sick of hearing about these here lately out of me, but they are lifesavers. And this bracelet, when you get down to the end of it, will really come in handy finishing this bracelet off. And uh, I have a friend out there that I've been referring everybody to. If he doesn't have time to make them or doesn't have any in stock, you get a hold of me, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to figure something out. I can either make them for you or I can send you to somebody else that does make them and if you don't have fids that's okay uh, a pair of really small needle nose pliers will work just as good and so will a pair of forceps and you can get forceps needle nose pliers you can get them at harbor freight you can get them just about everywhere anyway guys i hope you enjoy the tutorial if you want to uh stick around and we'll start here in just a few minutes okay guys let's get this started I've already got my buckle set up got my jig at uh, nine and a quarter inches set down at the bottom got my cords running through of course I usually start you know I'm, I put this loop knot at the bottom but for this particular bracelet we have to have it at the top we go down through the top feed it through the bottom and then we're gonna come back up with it as you guys can see right there so just bear with me I'm gonna set up my camera a little better here for you there you go and uh, now first thing we're gonna do we're gonna bring the orange up because since the orange runs on the the right hand side we're gonna bring the orange up and we're gonna take it across the core just like that <coughs> excuse me guys then we're gonna take the blue we're gonna cross over the orange under the core and through the orange on the other side sort of like you be uh, making a knot for a cobra knot and I usually you know pull it you know a little bit and work with it a little bit till I get the core nice and tight and that's that's pretty tight so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the orange we're going to come over the blue on the outside under the core like so and over the orange on the outside of the right side we're gonna pull all that through and that's about how it should look right there now we're gonna take the blue side we're gonna go under the orange over the tag in we just did over the core and under the blue on the other side Now 
Now that's how it should look so far right there guys. And we just tighten and push it up all at the same time. Now back on to the second pass. The second pass will start with the blue. We'll go under or we'll go over, under the core and out the other side. Now we'll take the orange, we'll go under, over the blue, over the core, and under the outside. That's how it should look right there so far. I hope you guys are bearing, you know, following along. Then we just pull it tight and push it up all at the same time to lock everything in. There we go. And then we just repeat the process again. We take the orange, go over the blue, under the core, over the orange on the other side. We take the blue, we go under the orange, over the core, and under the blue. And it, at the same time, you want to be tightening and pushing your knot up. And I just got my, there it is. We always start on this side. That's the side we start with and we finish with this side on this side. So now we go over with the blue, under the core, over the orange on the other side. We take the orange, we go under, over everything in the middle, under the other side. We tighten it, push it all up. Once you get a few of these made, they'll start locking where it won't be so, so hard on you. But we're going to do a couple of more and then we're going to move on guys. I'll pick, up, pick back up with you at the end. We're going to go over, under, over, we're going to go over, over, and under. That's how it should look each time guys. And then you just pull it tight feed it up and tighten it all at the same time we'll go over under over and then we'll take the orange we'll go under over the core over the blue and under the outside once again there it is that's how it's supposed to look tighten and push it up all right guys I think you've got the hang of it right now I'll pick up back with you here in a few minutes as we get towards the end okay guys now that we've got down to the end you guys know I've been talking a lot here lately about these paracord fids and these things are lifesavers now once again you don't have to have these you can use a pair of needle nose pliers or a pair of forceps will work you know almost as easy but these things make it just really really easy you know you just thread it on your paracord and it helps you weave this stuff when you get down into areas like this and as you can see my big old fingers I can't get in there but with this paracord fit I can put it down through there I take the other one put it on the other side raise it up a little bit and now I just weave my 
my fid through there and it helps tighten this whole bracelet up makes it really nice and tight make sure your uh, cords not all wound up which mine is but once again guys like I said before I have a friend that makes these paracord fids and uh, if he's too busy and doesn't have time to make them for you guys just let me know you know I'll figure out something you know I can make them and you know we, we can get you hooked up if Sean can't do it now we take the orange one we go back up through here oops get my blue one out of there and like I said just try and make sure you don't get your uh, your cord wound up now we're gonna stop right here and how I'm gonna terminate this is I'm gonna go right here in between this and pull it down just like so and in the blue we're gonna end up taking around the other side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pop this off and I like to tuck these it just makes it look a whole lot better and again there's where the paracord fids come in guys makes it a whole lot easier when you use these paracord fids I just go under about three of these knots push it up through pull it and of course now try and make sure your uh, your paracord doesn't get all twisted up on you so make sure and leave enough room to where you can untwist it before you cinch it all down and there we go and that's how that one goes and then we'll take the blue one and we'll just come right around the other side make it look like it's all part of the bracelet we'll do the same thing we'll go right under three of them push it through there pull it all nice and tight guys I tell you what I'm gonna pull that orange one there there now yeah, she's all nice and tight and of course we take our scissors and now I'm not gonna burn this cuz with it being on the bottom with that being frayed that won't aggravate your skin if you burn that that'll aggravate your skin anyway guys this is the uh, the ladder rack slash trilobite and some people have even been calling it the fishtail knot and as you can see I'm, I'm actually let this this bracelet's actually growing on me because as you can see here's my double core Cobra laying it beside my my new trilobite slash ladder rack slash fishtail and they're about the same size and this thing is pretty nice little bracelet you know I've never made one of these like I said and this this thing is pretty nice anyway guys if you have any comments or questions feel free to put them below I'll be more than happy to answer anything that you guys post you know that I appreciate your support appreciate you watching my videos it means a lot to me you guys know we got the Facebook page up and going now link for that will be down below if you guys want to go over and take a look and hit the like button feel free if you don't like what you see you just wasted a couple minutes of your time and with all that being said my friends old Coop's gonna say Coop out